Welcome back, guys. If you're new here, my name is Allie, and this is the Lazy Aho Ranch. It is our homestead in Colorado. We are building an arched cabin, and this is our secondary channel where we talk about homesteading stuff. Our main channel is the Lazy Aho Ranch, and you can follow it up here. We're here to talk about my pepper plants that I brought indoors, and Mimi, who is trying to hunt something. What you hunt? Mimi, why don't you help us out and kill some of these bugs? So I have, I have a pest on my plant. Today we're here to wage war against aphids. I've got my bug be gone, which is really neem oil. Man, that guy's really had it. This plant is infested. I'm gonna hose everything off, give it a really good hosing down. And then I'm going to put our neem oil into that little spray bottle there. And we're gonna give these guys all a good spray down. Step one is done. Well, I'd say after a rather vigorous shower, I certainly knocked off a lot of those bugs. I was all set to prune these back and overwinter them, but I'm gonna put these shears away for just a little bit longer, and we're gonna try this. I used a teaspoon and a half of neem oil to a quart of water, along with a half a teaspoon of dish soap. This stuff stinks. Next, I'm gonna continue this treatment with the rest of the plants. Tomorrow we come back and hose it down because from what I read, the neem oil can clog the pores on the plant and make the plant sick. And if I continue to have an issue, we'll do it again. I'm gonna spray the soil too because I noticed a lot of them were kind of camping out down in the soil. I figure since I've already been talking to you guys about gardening, come check on the garden. It is mid-October. Today is October 16th, and some of my plants are still alive. I've got some turnips that are still going, and I'm going to let them go as long as they're willing. So today's December 1st, and I am still battling with aphids, so this plant I'm going to clean up a bit and try to keep growing. This one I'm gonna overwinter. The first thing I did was go hose them all off. Now I'm cutting off all the really bad leaves and I'm just tossing them out. They're going in the trash. This one I'm gonna take off all the leaves. I'll leave places for them to sprout in the spring and I'll water them once a month. But this one I'm just cleaning up the dead leaves. They haven't been watered in a while. Gonna do it really lightly because that might soak in better. All right, and if it doesn't look so great, then uh, I'll just cut it off and overwinter it like the other one. So this one, I'm just cutting all the leaves off. Okay, so this one I have stripped all the leaves off, so it's just a stem. This one we'll take in the grow room and put in indirect lighting. This is my storage slash grow room. These plants down here are the ones I'm kind of keeping in indirect light. And then I've got a space blanket kind of thing, one of those mylar blankets. So I'm just going to add this pepper to the indirect lighting area. So over here I got my dianthus, some, I believe that's basil, dianthus and chives, uh, pepper plants and lavender. Here are the other pepper plants that I have to deal with. These I'm just going to overwinter. I'm not even sure if I can save those two. I'm going to try. And then here I have Brussels sprouts and mint. These guys are actually doing pretty good inside, so I'm just gonna let them go. Mm -hmm. 
Today is December 4th, and I've got garden on the mind, of course. I had a potato that started sprouting, so I am trying to grow some slips. And my understanding is you just shove the potato in some water, and eventually the slips will grow. When they get to about four to five inches tall, pinch off the slip, put it into some more water to root it, and then eventually you plant it. I know it's only December and it's a little early to get started, but I couldn't resist since this one was already starting to sprout. Plus, we have a very short growing season. I feel like any advantage I could get to have my plants healthy and biggish when it's time to go out in the garden is probably good. So I have been starting stuff a little early, historically. Hello, Aku. So along with trying to start some slips, I have been purchasing some containers for my garden. Now originally I was going to use these water or feed buckets from Tractor Supply. I found these guys on Amazon. These ones are geared specifically for potatoes, which is what I was going to add to the garden this year. My plan is to extend the garden backwards towards where the compost bin is right now. That compost bin wasn't working, so we're just going to take it out. I was going to put a big metal ring in there that's going to be filled with onions and probably garlic as well. And then I was going to use these 25 gallon water buckets for livestock, but they were $40 a piece. And I think these were, I want to say these were like $10 for a two pack or something like that. This one is just for potatoes. So it has a little flap on it so you can open it up. I also got a number of these cloth ones. These look more like a tarp kind of material. These are like your cloth grocery store bags, except they're for plants. I have them on my subscribe and save every couple of months just so I have enough pots for this year. I figure this way I spread the expense out a little bit and it's not such a big hit in the spring when I'm trying to scramble to get everything together. I still need to get some corrugated metal for my raised beds, uh, but that's, I think the last time I looked it would be about $100 for all the corrugated metal I'll need for those raised beds. So I'm saving up for that right now. Christmas and bills are getting in the way at the moment. My plan is to start sprouting seeds. You know what? We're gonna grab my seeds. We're gonna talk about some stuff. This is my seed collection. I originally bought a bunch of seeds from Baker Creek. They are based out of Missouri. I'm realizing that I need to look for a lot of northern varieties because we have such a short growing season. I've had a lot of these for a couple of years and I know some people see an expiration date on the packet and automatically think those seeds aren't any good. I may be new to gardening, but about 25 years ago I used to work for a seed company and I learned a little bit about storing seeds back then. As long as you keep them in a cool, dry place, they're going to store pretty well. You can store them for a really long time. So I have a very huge collection of seeds. I'm putting a lot of thought into companion planting because the aphids have taken over the inside garden several times. My inside garden has suffered due to both the aphids and apathy. <laughs> I think almost everyone in the household gets that sad over the winter, that seasonal depression stuff. So that doesn't help us very much. So I realized if I do some companion planting, I might be able to help with some of the pests. I have so many seeds. Part of what I'm planning for next year is a flower garden. Mike's mom loves her flowers and she used to be a florist. So I wanted to build some beds that will have some cut flowers for her to arrange. So I've got, so I've got a bunch of flower seeds ready for her for next year. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of arrangements she makes with her pretty flowers. During these winter months, I'm already thinking about my garden for next year. I know I want to get a worm tower for next year and do some composting. I know I have to think about fertilizing. I, that's a little daunting for me. I don't want to kill the plants because I know you can over fertilize them. What I'm looking for right now are my marigold seeds because I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and start them now. And I know I have a bunch. Yes, marigold. I'm going to go ahead and start some of these right now. I'm going to start a tray of them because the aphids are getting out of control and I know they don't like marigolds, at least that's my understanding. So I'm gonna start these now. I need to go through all of these seeds, figure out what I have and figure out what I wanna plant and start planting my garden. One of the things I need to do is figure out when these all need to be planted and figure out a schedule 
because I'm not going to start my dianthus the same time that I start my butter lettuce. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is separate these by what they are. These I'll need to plant in April or May. We are zone 4A where I'm at. So most people don't plant their plants until after Mother's Day. So I think maybe Mother's Day weekend I'll sow that ring garden. These are all my herbs. This is all of my vegetables. I'm going to separate them out. These are all of my beans. These are all of my cabbage, lettuce kind of things. I have several packets of marigolds and one grain. I'm kind of using Mother's Day as my guide for planting and Mother's Day in 2021 is going to be May 9th and I'm actually going ahead and putting these in my calendar. I'm going to start these in mid to late February. These I'm going to sow directly into the ground probably in late March. So I know it's early December but my thought process is with these peppers that I have inside, if I plant some marigolds now, maybe those aphids will F off. I've got this tray here. I got a bag of peat moss. I'm just gonna fill this tray with peat moss and then plant a few rows of stuff. I warmed up that peat moss a bit. It's still a little chilly. I'm going to give this a little more water because it's dry in spots. Put the tops on them and put them under the lights. Let's put this under the light and on the seed mat. This has done pretty good for me for germinating seeds. So I'll leave this in here. I've got a heat mat here and I've got a reflector that I use for photography that I use to cover this whole area and that kind of keeps that light in. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope that you are enjoying these videos. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'll update you guys once these things start sprouting and I'll update you guys on the garden in future episodes. So have a great rest of your week and get out there and do the thing.